community organizing is all about community empowerment. That's essentially what I brought forward into my legal practice. It's empowering that individual to make their own choices and seek the resolution that they're looking for. Gail has made an immeasurable difference in my life. Every decision I make is WWGD, what would Gail do? Really at the heart of it always is what is best for the client and particularly underserved and under-resourced clients. During his 40 year legal career, Gail worked with Seattle Legal Services, the Puyallup Tribe of Indians, the Seattle Indian Center Legal Services Program, the Northwest Justice Project, and was also in private practice for 35 years in Skagit County, first with Smith and Young, and then with Jones and Smith. Legal aid, civil legal assistance in Northwest Washington would not look the same without Gail. Starting Skagit Volunteer Lawyer Program was a continuation of my work with legal aid and seeing the need. Coming into Skagit County, he talks with every single lawyer and finds ways to get people involved. No attorney ever turned me down. And when I say that, they may have said no to me, but I interpreted that as not now, call me later. And when I called them later, they were willing to volunteer. There is a great generosity within the legal community that I firmly believe we've only begun to tap. One of his long lasting impacts is being able to identify, support and uplift people who are passionate at Northwest Justice Project, at Skagit Legal Aid, at Law Advocates, in private practice. Gail has made an impression on all these individuals. He was the board chair of the Skagit Legal Aid program. He had decades more experience than I did, but he always approached me as a thought partner. Some of the spaces that I valued the most is when we were doing what Gail would describe as dreaming and scheming mm -hmm. and coming up with what new things could we do in the community to engage our volunteers and to serve clients. We worked on the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrival Clinics, setting up the Housing Justice Project, which I think put Skagit Legal Aid in position to be able to jump into the right to counsel work. And I really treasured having that guidance, having that mentorship, especially early on in my career. I had great mentors. I believe that I'm just sharing something that was given to me and I'm passing it on. Gail always has strong opinions and he has principles that he will follow. So even if you disagree with them, he has a huge amount of integrity and credibility. The ways in which he invites healthy dissent in order to help us move forward and make sure we're thinking through many different aspects of any given problem so that we can ultimately do a better job of what needs to be done. Gail is the Tom Brady of Civil Legal Aid. A couple of weeks ago, Gail had just retired from NJP. And I was surprised actually to see him pop up on the Zoom meeting. I said, okay, so you are retired and you're on vacation and you're on this Zoom meeting. And I think that perfectly illustrates his dedication. I think that what I am most proud of is my family. I have had a wonderful legal practice and have enjoyed all of the individuals that I've worked with. Congratulations, Gail!